Well, hello everyone, it is Gemma Mactivate here coming to you with a brand new product gear demo that I just decided to do for fun. In no way am I getting paid by Matchless or am I getting paid by anyone else to do this video. I just decided to do this video because my friend Jimmy has left this amp here with me for the past few months and I just decided to do a gear demo on it, so why not? Now, if you guys don't know what this amp is, this amp is the Matchless SC Mini. And if you guys don't know anything about this amp or anything about Matchless, I suggest you check them out. Matchless is like the most popular amp when it comes to the boutique amp scene. They make like the best sounding vintage style AC30s and they also make other amps like the Chieftain, the Clubman, the Lightning, the Spitfire and now a new 6v6 combo amp called the Laurel Canyon which I've played and it sounds amazing. So the SC Mini is a single channel 6 watt combo which features a volume, a 5 way rotary tone switch, a high end cut knob and an overall master volume. And it also features one EL84 tube in the power section, one EF86 in the preamp section, and it also features a GZ34 tube rectifier. This amp also has a matchless and Celestian designed 12 inch speaker. Sounds awesome, I think it pairs with this amp very well. And in the front of the cabinet where the speaker is, there is a high frequency diffuser switch, which is pretty much just like a, a wooden strip to get rid of the excess high frequencies. The amp also has an effects loop, and also an 8 ohm and 4 ohm speaker out, so if you want to throw this amp into another cabinet or if you want to change the speaker inside this amp, you can totally do that as well. I'm going to be demonstrating this amp with my two guitars made by Tolvin and Guitars here in Sydney, Australia. One is the Disciple T, which is your typical two single coil style traditional Telecaster. And the other one is the Zebrawood Sisu with Lambertone's Kramer Humbuckers, which is a low output PAF style pickup. I'm also going to be playing this amp through my pedal board to demonstrate how this amp handles pedals. For the clean demos, I'm not going to be turning any pedals on except for a touch of reverb which is coming from the TC Electronic Hall of Fame. But other than that, when it comes to the drives and the delays and stuff, that's all coming from my pedal board. But most of the time, it's just going to be the amp doing what it does best. I'm also going to be miking up this amp with a Shure SM57 and a Rode NT1 condenser microphone.
Now, if you're curious to know what this amp sounds like volume-wise, if it can handle a drummer or with a band, I don't think it can handle a big band per se with like another electric guitarist and the bass and the keys player and the drummer without it being mic'd up. But if you've got a three-piece band, I think this amp can do real great. It's not super loud and it, if you're playing it in a bedroom or an apartment, this amp can really deliver those nice class A type tones without it, you know, upsetting the neighbors and whatnot. But for a 6 watt amp, I think it's probably the biggest sounding 6 watt amp I've ever played, around the 5-6 watt range. It really does sound big. Thank you so much for watching this video, I really really appreciate it. If you're looking for a matchless SC Mini, I hope this video helped you out in some way. But other than that, if you like this video, feel free to subscribe to my channel and check me out on these social media platforms over here. And yeah, you have yourself an awesome day, I hope to see you again, and peace out.